Hello friends, welcome to my video. My name is Yogesh and the topic for this video is based on the low delta T syndrome in chill water systems, which is one of the major cause of inefficient functioning of the chill water system. Low delta T lowers the overall efficiency of the chill water plant, increasing the energy consumption and lowering the output delivered. So let us start the video and I request you all to watch the video until the end, which could be of help to you. So what are the problems associated with the low delta T syndrome? Higher or increased energy bills, even at a part load operations. Basically in a low delta T syndrome, the system runs at a higher chill water flow, delivering lower tonnage which I will show you in my upcoming sheets through simple tonnage calculations and hence you have a higher kilowatt per ton. Plant overworked, hence higher maintenance cost for pumps, chillers, etc. Set temperature cannot be achieved even after delivering the design flow rate and hence the equipments are overworked due to the inefficient performance of chill water plant ultimately incurring higher maintenance cost higher amount of work done by the plant to achieve the required cooling. Plant has to work hard to achieve the set temperature as it delivers same flow or lower capacity. Issues in achieving required cooling. Occupants in the building might complain of inefficient cooling in plant with lower delta T syndrome. In the sheets ahead, we will prove it to you with simple calculations how low delta T creates inefficiency in cooling. Lower tonnage delivered at increased flow rate. As the design delta T is not achieved, the required tonnage is not delivered, although tonnage is directly proportional to the flow rate. Now I will give you a simple example to uh, show what low delta t syndrome is actually is and how it affects the performance of the plant now i will give you two examples of what uh, low delta t syndrome is say you have uh, the following parameters to calculate your tonnage uh, the chill water that we have con considered the inlet temperature of the chill water is 53.6 degree fahrenheit which is coming from the building to the chiller the chill water outlet temperature supplied to the building is 42.8 degree fahrenheit to the building see the design delta t is 10.8 degree fahrenheit whereas the flow rate is 1200 uh, gpm that is gallons per minute so we have two examples which are two two case studies or two cases one is an ideal case which is the design condition at which the chill water plant was designed and the second is the actual or the pr practical situation taken from one of the uh, plants the parameters like uh, uh, chill water flow rate uh, water in out temperature etc are common in both the cases but you can observe how the tonnage changes with the lower delta t so the case one over here is design condition using the our regular formula to calculate the tonnage which is gpm is equal to tr by 24 divided by delta t where you can see that in the case one we have considered the design delta t which is 10.8 degrees fahrenheit and in the case two we have considered the actual delta t which is now reduced and it is 9 degree fahrenheit so in the case one we are getting a tonnage of 540 tr at the ideal situation with 10.8 degrees uh, fahrenheit as the delta t whereas in in case of 9 degrees as the delta t we are getting a tonnage of 450 tr so here you can see there is a 17 percent reduction in the tonnage with a small variation in the delta t so I would like to ask you friends, have you experienced this in your plants? So when the return water temperature is higher than the design return water temperature, 
the delta t of the system reduces and thus delivering a lower tonnage at the same flow rate which means higher consumption of energy and lower tonnage delivered you can see in the example provided in the earlier slide the plant efficiency was also reduced by 17 percent as the design tonnage is 540 tr but the actual delivered tonnage was 450 tr in in the practical situation so engineers need to ensure if their plant is not going through the similar situation at this as this can create huge losses like higher or increased energy bills even at part load operations plant overwork hence higher maintenance cost for pumps chillers etc higher amount of work done by the plant to achieve the required cooling Issues in achieving required cooling, lower tonnage delivered at increased flow rates. So thanks for watching and if you would like to inspect or get your chill water systems inspected by us, kindly contact us on uh, the below number or you can mail me and uh, I will personally have check your systems. Uh, well, one thing you should always remember each penny saved is an each penny earned so kindly check and ensure if there are any such problems related to your uh, chill water system and and please get back to us and we will do whatever we can for you and once again i thank you for listening to my video thank you so much